be sweet. Yeah. yeah. Porter and I are just out here. I am pushing him on the swing. Grayson has been gone for several days and he comes home tomorrow. It's been so weird not having him here. Our house is so quiet. There's no one to entertain Porter. It's easy in some ways because I'm, I only have one kid. I don't have to worry about two. You know, there are some easy things, but I really do miss him. I mean, it's just a different dynamic when he's not here. But um, I've gotten some pictures and videos from his time at Anthony's parents' house, so his grandparents. I'll input some of those here for you guys to see. So it looks like he's having so much fun. Um, they got him into painting, which is daring with a toddler because he can be kind of crazy with messes. Um, and they took him to the zoo and it sounds like he's having a great time. It's really good for him to get that one-on-one -on -one time. Obviously, I can't really give that to him that much um, with two kids. So it's really nice that they're just having one-on-one -on -one time with him and it breaks up just the monotony of every day here and so I'm happy he was able to do that but I'm ready for him to come home because I miss him and Porter misses him and Anthony misses him too. Speaking of Anthony, today was his first day at his new company so he now works for Bath and Body Works. He had four days off in between leaving Honda and starting Bath and Body Works and so today was his first day and it sounds like it went really good. It sounds like this company is going to be much more relaxed than Honda was so hopefully he will be stress-free for a while at least. <laughs> so I will um, get him on camera if he'll let me later and uh, we'll see how he thought his first day went. But I thought I'd get out the camera because I'm out here pushing Porter and I can hear cicadas already. I don't know, I'm sure you all have heard, but like every 17 years, like a huge thing of cicadas come out and this is like Brood X and it's like a large amount of cicadas. And like, as soon as it starts getting warm, like I guess they're just buried underground for 17 years. And then like, as soon as it gets warm and like there's a warm rain, then they all come out. And they're not bad, but they make like a lot of noise and I can already start hearing it. I don't know if it's all day or maybe they just do it in the evening. I really don't know. And I know they don't last very long. Like it's just a few weeks, but I can already see like a bunch, I guess they like leave shells behind i really don't know much about cicadas but i'll show you so this is our back fence that's jerry our neighbor he's super nice but i was just looking on this back fence and look i don't know how close i want to get because it's nasty but you can see like all along the fence are just cicada shells it's so nasty it's all along this fence so they're already starting to come out. And like I said, I can hear them already. Um, I don't mind them. I guess it's gonna get really loud because there's a lot of them. I don't mind cicadas. It just makes me think of summer. Anyway, I just kind of thought about that because the cicadas are coming out. So let me know down below are there lots of cicadas where you are um, or not. I guess it's like the Midwest where they're all coming out and that's where we are. Anyway, I will get Anthony on camera. Hopefully if he'll let me and uh, see how his first how he thought his first day went but in the meantime we're just gonna swing yeah he just loves the camera he's been such a grunter today he's a grumpy old man and he's still doing one nap he refuses to do his morning nap and he's been staying up until 10 o'clock at night the past three nights and it's killer not good Okay, we are going to feed Porter apples, which is it's basically applesauce, for the first time. And this is the la, last, la, la, la. This is the last fruit, new fruit that we're gonna do. After this, it's like meals. So here we go. I think he'll like it. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, you're like looking in the camera. And it's gone. So he loved it. <laughs> Good job, Port. Oh, that's that. That's my work for three minutes. Mm. Mm. Ah. No. Ah. So, Anthony, the people want to know how was your first day of your new job? It was good. Are you gonna talk about it? Nope. I'm not very exciting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do today? Work. <laughs> That's not my favorite flavor. No? No. I don't like ginger flavor. I got, I get Anthony all the new bubbly flavors, and this one is, what is it? White peach and ginger. Yeah, and I don't like ginger. But it I doesn't go very well with white peach. No. <laughs> okay. Won't get that one again. You're not going to talk to the vlog? I'm not going to talk to the vlog. Sorry, guys. I'm not very interesting, nor do I want to be. Oh, what are you reading? Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. A D&D &D thing because I'm a big old nerd. Anthony got a new D&D &D book and he's very excited. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to get much out of Anthony today. Nope. He's being poopy, but he had a good first day. And I just finished feeding Porter. As you saw, I'm making dinner tonight. Here's what's on the menu. It's creamy Tuscan chicken. It calls for a lot of spinach, so I'm not really the biggest spinach fan, but we'll see how it turns out.